Let's take a look. Hey, hey. Well, well, maybe we're not saying anything. What? Oh, oh my God. Here, let me look. Uh, I, I need better light or something. Oh, oh yeah. I think I've got a, a, a little flashlight in here somewhere. I can't hear what either one of you are saying. That's so weird. Oh, for crying out loud. It, 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 it's full of wax. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, what? But, it, but it's not earwax. It, it's candle wax. I've never seen anything like it. You naughty, naughty girl. I, I, I don't get it. Yeah, you're not going to like this, Kay. What? Well, if Miguel's down here, deaf as a post, who is Siren singing to up there? Fox? Yeah, he's already been hit with the she fishes curse once. Looks like she's going for a double dose. What? Oh! Could you speak up, please? Uh, but Siren already seduced Fox once. Don't have to talk quietly. Romeo can't hear a bloody thing. She can't be seducing him again. Uh, can't is not a word in the mermaid's lexicon, Kay. My guess is when the girl went deaf on her, she just turned her attentions to Fox again. She is one fickle fish. Hey, can you speak up or, or look at me so I can try and make out what you're saying? But Fox and I were about to make love. I mean, the only reason I came down here was to get Maria's bottle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If she seduces him again, she will bind him to her forever. You can probably see what's going on upstairs in there. I'll keep Miguel's attention. I wish he never swam out of the sea. Kay, Kay. Will someone tell me what's going on around here? <sighs> Let's just say that you're lucky you don't know. I'm sorry, Tabitha. I, I couldn't hear you, but I can hear a little now. Yeah, that's because we freed up one of your ears, dear. No, but, but it doesn't make sense. I wash my ears out every day. Yes, well, you know, it's just... Uh, it's just a bit of wax. Don't worry about it. You're missing some tax. Can you hear me now, dear? Oh, thank God. I just don't know how this happened. Well, as long as you can hear again now. Hey, where did Kay go? Why does she run out the way she did? Well, I think it's about Fox. Wow. You know, just when I thought... She and I had a chance of ending up together so we can raise Maria like a real family. She goes and gets her memory back. She went up to see Fox, didn't she? Yes. But you know, things aren't quite as rosy between them as you think. What do you mean? You know how Kay was with you while she was suffering from amnesia? And I think she still wants to be with you. Nice try, Tabitha. I don't think so. Well, I'm really wrong about these things, Miguel. She misses you as much as you miss her. Sounds like you know something I don't. Maybe I do. Of course, if you're not romantically interested in Kay. Tabitha, I am. Okay, I just thought she was back with Fox, back to planning their wedding. Well, it, it's none of my business, but things aren't always what they seem to be, Miguel. Oh, I shouldn't be saying any of this. So are you saying I should go back and get her? Do you really think I have a shot with her? Yes, I do. Yeah, I think you have a real shot. You must fight for her, Miguel. So she doesn't end up spending the rest of her life with a second choice. If you really love her, then you have to approach this as a general approaches a battle. You have to, to fight for her, fight to the finish. You know, anyone with two eyes can see that Kay is enamored of you and not Fox, her fiancé. 
Well, aren't you going to say something? Isn't this good news? <sighs> well, if it isn't enough for you to stuff Miguel's ears with candle wax, now you've cast a sleeping spell on him so that he can't go upstairs and reclaim Kay.